Hey, I'm Jake. And we're two-thirds of Kuchka. This is also Katie. And we're currently in my combi van having an interview for Power TV. Also, if you want to buy it, just send me an alpha via email. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I started Kuchka as like a solo thing, probably like five years ago, something like that. Experimental shows, I did like a lot of vocal looping and I guess the structure of the tracks and my set was like way more experimental back then. And then I started kind of writing more kind of poppier songs and I thought that it would benefit with having a band for a live format. Then Jake came on board and we met at uni at WAPA. I'd seen Katie kind of like playing drums in some random um, like uni at some random uni show and I was like oh I think I'll ask that chick um, and Jake was like what do you even know her I was like nah nah she's cool <laughs> she's it's fine fun. and the EP launch was a week away and yeah. we're like oh we need a new drummer and so I just went up to her I'm like oh hey like do you want to be in a band with us and she was just like I'm not a drummer I was like you'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sponge cake in Jamaican liqueur oh my god can we buy some I think because the mm. tracks are kind of s slow, down tempo, it's not really party music, yeah. um, it's more headphone music, so I think we kind of try and create that with the live show, yeah. and I think if we can get people to like fully, be fully immersed in it, then they'll understand the music more, especially in a live format when people are drunk at a club or something. I'll just run you through our favourite cocktail. It's called um, a Sparkly D and we created it. And the ingredients are a bottle of champagne. It can be the cheapest or the most extra extravagant, but cheap works better. We go better. with cheap usually, yeah, usually, just by choice, I don't know why. Yeah. And then um, a Dexy also. Per drink. One Dexy per drink. <laughs> Two if you're feeling like, a bit <laughs> wild, but I'd probably but, just recommend yeah. one. I'd recommend one. If you need an, another one, then you should pair it with another glass of champagne. True. So this is essential for every night out. Yeah. <laughs> cool, so step one is just open this bottle of champagne. Oh my God, is that a rosé? Yes. It's rosé, yeah. Yeah, cool. Into that. You don't have to worry about the well, ratios. The ratio, it's fine. <laughs> it actually doesn't matter. And then simply pop it into the glass like so. It has a little nice fizz. That means it's activated the dexamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get it out. Yeah. <laughs> we can almost taste that dexy. <laughs> <laughs> and as time goes on, it'll dissolve and yeah. That's Everyone will get loose and start to abuse Katy Perry fans, it's fun. Yeah, it's good when people come to the shows and stuff if they know the tracks. Yeah. I feel like it makes a massive difference. Mm. So, sure. yeah. Well, yeah, we've been over a few times now and then every time, you know, it, the audience builds and builds and, but then the most recent show, like now we've been getting played on triple for like six months, like there was a definite increase of like a few fans that you could tell. You well, know, they weren't just like friends of friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy how much influence Triple J has in Australia. Yeah. Mm, like, it's, a, it's a combination of like, the more you tour, the more, you know, the audience will grow, but then with Triple J play as well, it combines and yeah. helps. I think you just gotta keep getting over there and yeah. Yeah. just keep doing shows and getting plays. Shards, mate, got some lime. Shards! Gonna go check this in. 
Yeah, Daddy. Oh, this looks joy. That's gonna be amazing. You can definitely apply stuff for like um, orchestral writing and stuff to electronic. Yeah. I mean, in terms of working with an orchestra where you have to, you know, certain instruments are there and they cover a certain frequency spectrum, you can do that with electronic beats and stuff as well. Mm. Like, you've got to kind of make sure you've got everything covered and nothing's getting in the way too much and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Obviously, like, everyone wants to be successful. Yeah. And I want to make music for a long time, so I want to make money, but I don't think I would change what I wrote in order to make more money or yeah. get more fans. Like, mm. I don't think it'd be worth it, because it wouldn't be fun anymore, and yeah. I wouldn't want to make any more music. Even if I wanted to write some like mega pop bangers, I don't think I could. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone was drinking champagne and like it was like a thousand glasses and like everyone was a bit tired so we just got a bottle of Dexies and we're actually just spiking people's drinks and they weren't aware <laughs> but then um, but then we realised it was actually like so incredible that we thought we'd